Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're going car shopping and as you'll see, we did a few test drives in some certain vehicles. I'm going to explain why we chose these vehicles as options for our cars. Now, we chose a 2018 Toyota Prius, a 2018 Nissan Leaf, a 2018 Kia Soul EV, and a 2021 Toyota Corolla Hybrid. And I'm gonna kinda of tell you why we chose to take a look at some of those vehicles. So the first thought was the Toyota Prius, right? Fuel efficient hybrid car. My mom liked the look of it. Flat out, we found a good deal at Jim Pattison, 22,995. And we went to go for a test drive in it. And you know, Prius, it was a great car. My mom loved it. You know, she loved the look. She loved the way it drove. She loved the gas mileage. Like, well, we were driving in town on the test drive. It was actually averaging 52 miles a gallon, which is crazy. Um, and my mom really liked the look of it. The only drawback to the Prius that we had was that it was 21,000 kilometers over the maximum amount of kilometers we wanted to buy a car with, a used one. We wanted it 50,000 kilometers on the odometer and it had 71,000. It was a hard choice because three-year-old car, we still had the warranty, but you know, it, it was a bit too high a mileage. We are not looking at the 2018 Prius anymore. Instead, we're looking at a brand new 2021 or 2022 Prius for 35,000. And the reason we were looking at that one was that it had zero kilometers. It was only $100 more a month to finance than the, uh, the 2018 Prius and it had the same fuel efficiency. And the one thing that we liked about the Prius was that it had more space than the Toyota Corolla Hybrid. So he, the salesman that we talked to, he actually said the Corolla Hybrid was actually bigger than the Prius. And even though the trunk was deep and it was pretty good, it wasn't a hatchback. So it didn't have a lot of height to it. So we decided for our hockey gear and our vacation stuff, it was just the Prius was a better car. So we, that brings us on to the Corolla. We didn't test drive the Corolla hybrid. She doesn't like a trunk as much as a hatchback. And she really did like the look of the Prius a lot better than the Corolla hybrid. I know not a lot of people like the look of the Priuses, but you know, I thought it was fine. It had great fuel economy. One thing, so the thing with the Prius, the 2018 had too much kilometers on it. And that was the main holdback. And the main thing that I'll say it didn't do as well as the other cars was it didn't have enough technology. Like the 2018 Prius, the 2022, by the way, had, had is big improvement. The, the 2018 Prius, it had a very small touchscreen, didn't have Apple CarPlay. It had very basic stuff. And the sound system wasn't great. I'll admit it, it wasn't great. And but everything else about it was good. It had great l interior. It had a really, it was really quiet. It had tremendous fuel economy. And you know, the 2021 Toyota Prius that we're looking at improves pretty much on all of those things. It has the same fuel economy, has a better infotainment screen. It's better because it has a technology package. So it has leather seats. It has a bigger screen, Apple CarPlay, etc. The 2022 Prius is a much better car in terms of screen size and technology, etc. And really, I actually really did like the 2022 Prius. We didn't take it for a test drive because it was in the showroom, but it was 35,000, only $100 a month more to finance. And we figure that that is one of our finalists is the 2022 Toyota Prius is our finalist for cars to buy. And then going back to the Corolla Hybrid, it just, you know, my mom didn't like that it wasn't a hatchback, right? She really liked the hatchback. It it had identical fuel efficiency pretty much. You know, it had a better interior, better technology screen than the Prius did, the 2018 Prius. Good price, but we sat in it. It didn't have as much legroom as the Prius. It just, my mom didn't like it as much, right? So 
Corolla Hybrid, I was high, high hopes on it. Wasn't quite my mom's taste. Now, the 2018 Nissan Leaf. Electric car, 240 kilometers of range. Good technology. And it rode decent. That's kind of where the pros stopped. The cons. Wasn't very spacious. Didn't have a good trunk size. Didn't have good headroom. And... You know, it, it's not a great range electric car. And, you know, it's 20, 240 kilometers, okay? That's good, but it's not great. Unless it had more range, there wasn't really a big selling point to it. You know, my mom, it drove okay. It had okay acceleration. It, it had a decent interior. It rode quietly. But... You know, it, it wasn't the car. It was too small. It was the size of a Mazda 3. You know, and the SV trim really didn't. It just wasn't our car. Then the 2018 Kia Soul. Wow, was I shocked. <laughs> I was really shocked. Um, I didn't expect it to be that good. I thought it would be a Nissan Leaf size car. I thought it would be too similar for my mom to like it. But holy crap, it had a way better interior than the Leaf. Rode much better. It had way more features. It definitely just a better car. It had more headroom. It had more legroom. There's two things that the, it didn't get that the Leaf had. Trunk space. The sole trunk space is not bigger than the Leafs. And this is what really was quite annoying because it was a good car that was sized up, but the trunk space is so confined that it really, the 2018 Kia Soul was not what we were looking at. And it really just wasn't a big, it wasn't great. Right? Um, and it really had quite a terrible range 180 kilometers 111 miles 178 kilometers so 180 kilometers right that ain't great i mean it's 60 kilometers less than the leaf that's way behind a chevrolet bolt or a tesla it's it just isn't great you know and the range and the space was what was holding us back and same with the Leaf. My mom didn't want to have that range anxiety, right? So, wasn't wasn't particularly great. Now, we did take a look at a 2021 Kia Soul. That's where everything changed. The look, it looked way better from the outside than the old, than the old Souls. The 2018 Soul didn't look as good as the 2021. It had a better interior. It had more trunk space. It had way more range. It had... 204 kilometers more range than the 2018 Leaf. And that was a huge difference because that is behind the Chevy Bolt still. goes Well, it goes sold Bolt, the Bolt EUV. I'm not sure where the Teslas fall in here because Teslas we weren't considering because it's too expensive. You know, it was really a good improvement. So we took a look and scrap scrap the car thing i'm not sure what they're called uh the scrap thing got us could get a six thousand right and then the rebates was eight thousand so you discount the price thirty eight thousand and you take that down you know and then with payments so thirty thousand right good price the space still isn't top quality on the new souls even so it's not 100% guaranteed, but the Soul, my mom really liked it. So the Solas are one of our finalists as well. Now you get to watch us go on the test drives with all of these vehicles. Okay, guys, so right now we're on our way to Campus Nissan to test drive a 2018 Nissan Leaf SV, which is the middle trim, which gets you the tech package, the bigger screen, the heated seats, lot of other things and yeah we're get we're looking for a new car the 
Leaf is probably the one we're not going to consider the most out of those other choices, but it's my mom's first time driving an electric vehicle, so we'll see how she likes it. My hopes are not high though for the Leaf compared to the other options. Push free. Yep, it's on. I know because it's electric. Now look at this GPS in here. So this also, so this e-pedal, one pedal driving. So when you take your foot off the accelerator, it breaks itself. It's one pedal driving. When you use this, you don't have to use a brake pedal. When you take your I foot off. I don't want to do that though. I want to just be normal. So yeah, we just got the maps going, guys. So we got the GPS and all these leaf settings. It's got about 103 kilometers of range left. It was about half charged. This is a 2018 Nissan Leaf SV. So this is the middle trim level. There's the S, the SV, and the SL. SL just had the leather seats, a both stereo system, and a 360 degree camera. That was unnecessary, so we got the middle trim for the test drive. Actually drives pretty nicely. Mum, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, this takes a bit to get used to. So, uh, but like, I mean, your experience, like what is your experience of, just, of driving an electric vehicle for the first time? Yeah, it feels like any other car. Like it's I mean, but it's much quieter, right? Like, it sounds... Yeah, much quieter. Yeah, now we're going down a street here. You know, he rides decently for a small-sized car. Let's go up. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. The GPS runs fine. It actually has quite a bit of decent back room there. I mean, I don't, I'm don't. i six foot three, and I have a decent amount of leg room here. Really, I think this car is pretty good. Good visibility. And we'll just test it going up a hill. It does pretty well going uphill. It actually has really good visibility, I feel. Rides decently. And you know, for this small of a car, I actually don't feel like it's very cramped. I mean, I feel like you could probably fit, you know, you could fit two of my friends back there. And then, you know, hockey gear, I think. Well, yeah. Really, I don't. I don't feel like it's that cramped. Like if I put, if you put the seats down, the trunk opens up a lot further, right? And really, if you're not traveling with six, seven people at a time all the time, it really doesn't affect. I think the space a lot. Everything is good except I don't like the idea that I have to charge it for a long period of time, so you can't supercharge it every time. So, if they said it takes like four or five hours, then I have to find a place to charge it for that long. So that's But, not well, you know, that's keep in mind there's two like places that you can do that. Work, right? And then, but if you talk to Tammy and them, if you can run a cord, right, from your outdoor outlet, you could have an at-home charging station. Yeah, well, I just gotta, I gotta talk to the strata. So, smallness of it and the fact that I'd have to plug it in for a lengthy amount of time. That's just like kind of what you, what's the two knacks against the leaf. So no on the leaf? I don't think so. Okay. Alright, so right now we're at Jim Pattison Toyota. We're looking at a Toyota Prius 2018. About to go for a test drive in it. And you like the Prius the best out of any of the vehicles we've driven so far. So, do you feel like it could be the car to buy? Possibly. Possibly. Okay. We'll, we'll go for a test drive, give you our feedback. Okay, we're hopping in in 2018 Prius. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Cool inside of a Prius. Just make sure the easy goes right away. Okay. Put firmly on the brake. Yeah. And then start button, and the AC should starting right away. 
it's so quiet. I know. And then look the at this dashboard know, here. The only way you know the car is on is if it'll say ready somewhere up at the right. top screen. Yeah, no, ready, ready up there. above park, yep. So the car's on. Car's on. Yeah, so, Danny, if you don't mind, before you go, I would like you to take a look at the mirrors. You can spin it. Left and right. Okay. And then you can move the joystick up and down before you get going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's so cool. Right mirror okay? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now the transmissions a little different as you can see it's that blue piece where if you put mm -hmm. on the brake, you can move it left and down for drive, right? Or left and up for reverse. Now you're now you're in drive. No. And then obviously up for reverse reverse. And then you press on the P to put it back into park. And the P button just to the left of the transmission. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. But today, just get used to how a car drives. Kind of experience the hybrid motor. As you can see, the gas mask isn't even on yet. It means it's got charge in the back batteries. Um, and really just enjoy it. Cool. All right. All right. Okay, very long. Take, take your time. Okay. Seriously. I'll see you guys in half an hour or so. Okay. Thank you. Any questions, call the office. Ask me. Keep yeah. going. Thanks, bye. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. It does ride pretty nicely. like the space seems like it could be a good car the interior I mean it's not the biggest screen doesn't have the most technology features but that's fine it does ride pretty smoothly and I like this digital up here so overall for the vehicles we've test driven so far your pre the Prius is your favorite and you kind of like the fact that it's just solely on gas and that it's so efficient like that's reading 4.6 liters per 100 kilometers is reading over 50 miles a gallon which is crazy and the windshield's nice great views like i mean how do you feel about visibility like your blind spot is good like the headroom is crazy too like i have so much headroom if you look i have a ridiculous amount of headroom i'm six foot three and a half I got great headroom and the people in the back in the back seat that's tons of space like it's actually a really really good car it's crazy this car is averaging 52 miles a gallon in city driving and it's got, it's driving really nice like how would you say the ride quality is good and do you like the interior interior is good Stereo system. Stereo system's good. You know, it's actually, I really do like this Prius. It's not the biggest technological vehicle, but it actually could be the best one. And the space is crazy too. That's with one seat folded down, but still that trunk space is nuts. So the, the Toyota's pleasing you then. So, next we're test driving a Kia Soul EV. I don't think you're gonna like it as much, but we'll see. And, but so far guys, this Prius, 2018 Toyota Prius looks like the one. air conditioning it's very quiet Prius on the highway pretty good Prius thoughts good what do you space easy to drive comfortable. is it similar to your car 
like in the sense of the way it drives and stuff like it's not it's not something you have to learn to drive no it's good i liked it a lot okay so prius is the best one so far so, far. so ta we're taking a look at a kia soul in about an hour or so so now we're at kia and we're test driving a soul ev Well, I mean, you could fold the seats down. This more, most of these are the size. Like, I think, yeah. Can you put more things in there than that? Yeah. Well, you could I have you could fold the seats down. So you got a little storage space in here. Yeah. Let's just, like, take, you know, let's Do you see. Want to is, yeah. new, is new a possibility at all? Well, maybe, yeah. Because yeah. the, the new ones, as you can see, is a little bit newer body. Right. And it's got quite a bit of trunk space. I personally love the new ones. I, I don't know if, uh, what you guys, if you guys are having to trade in or not. Or if yeah. you got an older vehicle that could be worth a scrap it certificate by any chance. Yeah, yeah. we think so. Yeah. Yeah. Scrap it? Yeah. Because that's six grand, right? Yeah. And you've got uh, 8,000 government rebates with the new ones. Um, right. And I don't know where whereabouts you guys are on your purchases. I don't know what the, the promotions yeah. will be for next month. But for the rest of this month, you also get a $1,000 free charger as well. So the level two charger. And you get a lot more space in the trunk. I, would you like me to grab a key just to show you the space? Yeah. yeah. Alright. <laughs> but that's a new soul. <laughs> a little bit newer, a little bit different. I think it's the Prius. I still think it's the Prius. I mean, it's not terrible trunk space for like the size of the vehicle, but I really, I just don't think it's big enough. Now well, let's get in. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent interior. Yeah, it's Spacious. But this is fully electric. Yeah. And you're not a fan of that. And you know, they have a decent interior, but like, I don't know. Space is decent, besides the trunk space. Like you. I mean, you could, you know, you could put a heart, you put, you could put the stick with the seats down and the bag. Mm -hmm. You could put a few camping stuff. Like, it's not terrible. Like, I mean, and Darcy's wife puts all that crap in the cube. And the Nissan cube. cube. Than well, it's similar size. Mm -hmm. But, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, it has decent leg room. It's got a nice display. Like, you know, it's not terrible. I mean, the newer soul seems a bit bigger, but, you know, I don't know. I think the Bolt EUV would be a bigger, better choice, because the Bolt EUV gets 600 kilometers on the charge, mm. right? The Prius is probably, you know, until we wait, we hear back from the guy at Wheaton tonight, we can't really make a choice. I'm going to still say you're going to want the Prius, though. Hi. Isabel just asked me to help you out. She just, her last client she just came oh, back in there. Okay. Did you guys want to take this one for a spin? So, would you say that this so far is better than the Leaf? Yes. But still not your favorite. Uh, yeah, the space, the trunk space is still pretty limited. If we folded down the seats, like, it could be comparable. But, I don't know. Interior is nice, but yeah, I'm not sure. Like hundred, I mean, really, 180 kilometers of range isn't really enough, I don't think. Like really. And then like you know, and the scrap and the government rebate, the new ones could be okay. But I don't know. Rides nicely, but let's try GPS. So we got this huge display, all these buttons, map, navigation maps, the air conditioning's pretty good. Sound system's amazing, and I can't play music, unfortunately, when I'm filming because I'm running off my phone throughout the CarPlay. Good interior, decent back space, but I don't know, the trunk seems a bit small. Mom, what do you think? Yeah, the interior space is really good. It feels like you're a little bit higher, so I like that. It just don't feel so low to the ground. But yeah, it's just about, well, 
Well, there's two common factors. One is if you buy a DV, you get a scrap it plus the rebates. The rebates. So it's about the same as buying used at this point. And it gets a bit more range. But keep in mind, guys, we took we were talking at the guy at Wheaton today about a Bolt EUV. They don't have any currently. But what he did say was that it has way more space. The pricing would be very similar to like a used Volt. So we're waiting to hear back on that. And the Volt and the Volt EUV gets almost 600 kilometers of range. Honestly, I would rather have the Bolt EUV because I don't know. I I, it, I like I'm a Chevy guy, right? So I like Chevy more than Kia, and I like the Kia. Kia has impressed me, but. I don't know. I think we should still wait to hear back on the pricing on all the vehicles. But would you say that would you say that you like this or the Prius better? It's tough. The Prius has more space and a better truck. This has more like body room, you know, like you feel more But you could live with the Prius space. Yeah, I could live with it, but I like the space better. Okay, so maybe in that case, do we want to take a look at a new one? Not today, no. Okay. But okay. I did look in it, like, yeah. I yeah. did look in it. I mean, I don't think the truck space is that much better. Does Aiden's family have a new one? Or? No, this style. Yeah, so pretty much it's between this and the Prius and the EUV. Wait to hear back on the pricing on the EUV tonight. We'll take a look at the pricing on this and on the new one. So far, it's between this and the Prius. I may be thinking that the Kia Soul has impressed me. I like the screen. Ride's a bit stiff, but that's expected from a car like this size. Now well, we're back at Kia. There's a nice Camaro SS. My favorite car of all time. So overall, how do you like the Kia? Good. But is it your favorite one? Maybe. Do you think it has enough space to beat? Well, I don't know. I wanted to get out to look. Okay. It did surprise me. The Kia did surprise me. So everything's fine. We fit except trunk space. And then also it's your range anxiety. Well, I know. That's a whole other discussion. Yeah. So you didn't like the customer service at Kia? They were kind of slow. Confusing. Yeah. Really you're to do. Yeah. Bit confusing, but was a decent. It was a decent car. But range anxiety is the main thing besides trunk space. The main three finalists are a 2021 or 2022 Toyota Prius a 2021 Kia Soul or a 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EUV and we will now that we've test driven the Prius and the Soul and we've test driven the other cars we will have to update you in a few days if we get if we decide to test drive the EUV or we decide to just go with another car and i we will update you guys so thanks for watching this video